Hey there, Bulldog fans. I'm Hillary, and this week's Meet Your Bulldog, I am joined by Chanel Baker out of Carrollton, Texas, one of your Mississippi State volleyball players. Thanks for joining us, Chanel. It's nice to be here. Well, let's kick it off by telling the fans a little bit about how you got here from Carrollton, Texas, because I know you don't have any family members that go here, so how'd you end up signing with Mississippi State? Um, Jenny, our coach actually was really good family friends with one of my club volleyball coaches. And I mean, he asked her to come to one of my matches and you know, it, it went good from there. She liked what she saw and I ended up coming here, took a visit and I love the school. Well, I know the volleyball team's super excited to have you because you're a great asset. And I know that currently you're the only senior on the team. So what's it like being in that leadership position, trying to show all the newbies how to play the game of the SEC? Um, it's kind of like being mama bear. Like, I have a bunch of babies and I have to take care of them, like, show them the ropes. There's a lot of things that, you know, when I was a freshman, I had the time to transition into. But, like, with having a lot of young players, like, they're expected to get out there and learn really fast. So I'm trying to, you know, help them make that transition period a little bit easier. Well, you were just talking about transitions, and I know this year the SEC transitioned into having two new teams. So what's that like as a senior getting thrown into the mix of two new teams in the SEC? Um, it's different because, like, playing in the SEC, you play everyone twice, so you get to become really familiar with players' tendencies. And, you know, adding two new teams, you don't really know, like, what you're going to see because you haven't played them before. So it's kind of like uh, playing against new opponents. Like, you can go out there and you, no one knows what you're going to do, so it kind of gives you a little bit of an advantage. Yeah, like you can study all the film you want, but they're not playing against SEC teams, so you don't really know what they're going to do. Yeah. Well, I know you love being a Bulldog, so why don't you tell the fans one of your favorite things about being a Mississippi State Bulldog? I would definitely have to say my favorite thing about being a Bulldog are the traditions, especially the cowbell. Like, me and Danny, one of my teammates, we bought each other cowbells, <laughs> and then we switched them, and we decorated them together, and that was really fun for me. Like, if I have my kids, you know, I want them to be Bulldogs, and I want, you know, to carry on that tradition, maybe even pass down my cowbell to them. <laughs> carrying on the Bulldog family tradition. Well, speaking of family, I know your sister plays at Tennessee. She plays on the Tennessee volleyball team. Is that weird playing against your sister in your conference? It is actually a little bit weird, especially since we play opposite from each other. So we're on the net. We're, like, looking at each other, trying not to laugh, <laughs> making jokes, you know. Uh, it's But we're really competitive, so, like, we, we switch it on to game mode pretty fast. And then afterwards, we like to, you know, talk trash to one another and compare hitting percentages or be like, I blocked. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what do your families do? Who wears the Tennessee shirt? Who wears the Mississippi State shirt? Well, we actually got it worked out where wherever whoever's the home team, that's what color they get to wear. Or my mom sometimes she'll wear like a Tennessee shirt when we're at Tennessee, and she'll wear like a maroon headband. <laughs> so at least she has one or the other colors on. And my aunt actually has a shirt that she made where the front is Tennessee and the back is Mississippi State and you can actually like wear it either way. So a little house divided. You yeah, guys have house. a little doormat at your house. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good Christmas present. You should invest in that. I know, but you know, maroon and that bright orange, they don't Doesn't go really together. Mix <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I know that you're graduating in May. What have you been studying? Um, right now I'm getting my degree in biological sciences and I'm getting a minor in psychology. So it's been a tough route, but I'm like, yeah, really close. I'm almost there. <laughs> well, what are you going to do after college? How are you going to carry out your career dreams? Um, I'm actually looking at nursing schools back at home. I'm hoping to do an accelerated program and then after that get my master's because I really want to be a nurse practitioner. Well, that's exciting, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, Chanel, for joining us this week. And don't forget, if you want to check out the volleyball team, to go to hailstate.com, look at their schedule, show up at New Grissom and support Chanel, and don't forget to keep watching Hail State TV.